What's going on, everybody? Josh Engelman here for OddShopper.com, back with the No House Advantage picks versus the house. It's Sunday, March 12th, and we are diving straight in Julius Randle. Over nine and a half rebounds. I got that bad boy at 10.6. This one looks good at Stochastic as well, which you should always be cross-referencing if you want to. We'll talk about how you could do that later. I like this spot, just first and foremost. Taken on the Lakers. The Lakers are 22nd in offensive rebounding rate. That means that there are going to be more rebounds to go around for someone like Julius Randle. We don't yet know the status on Jalen Brunson, but assuming he's out, potential for additional minutes for Julius Randle. They just want him to do a little bit more. I'm already projecting him pretty well at 36 minutes, but I think that that number can go up if we have no Brunson. If I'm a rebound clear in my projection, it's going to be easy. When the stats and potential extra factors all are in agreement, it's a no-brainer. Randall over nine and a half boards. Number two prop is going to be Anthony Davis over two and a half assists. Same matchup, only, well, different matchup. Same game, different matchup. He gets to take on the Knicks. I got the projection at 2.8. The line is set at two and a half. We're going to take that over. And this one's just sort of easy-ish to me. I know we've got D'Angelo Russell back. He's going to have the ball in his hands a little bit more, but the Lakers just can't afford to drop any games. And in those sorts of situations, you're just going to see more touches funnel to someone like AD. So while I don't expect him to go out there and have a massive assist game, I still think he's going to be doing whatever they can do to pick up a W. And that's just going to have the ball in his hands more. More touches means more opportunities to pick up some assists. So it, it, it really is just boiled down as simply as it could possibly be. I think Anthony Davis has the ball more right now. Obviously, he has it a lot more with no Russ, no LeBron. And I think that he's just slightly underrepresented for this prop. In, in a betting market, there would be a slight over in juice to the two and a half. There's no juice here at No House Advantage. So take advantage and take the over. Now, if you're interested in more No House Advantage content, Pick'em Pro is the package you're looking for at Stochastic. Link in the description. Click it, head on over. All you gotta do is enter the promo code SCORE. You're gonna get 50% off. It's gonna be less than five bucks. We take all the props that exist at No House Advantage, we run them through our model, and we give you the percentage chance that each one of them goes over or under. Again, it's gonna cost you like 450. You really can't beat that deal. And from an ease of use perspective, you can spend as little time as you want on it. If you just wanna take the best plays, load them into No House Advantage and move forward, that'll work for you. If you wanna do more digging, you can do that, but we can make it very easy for you using that promo code SCORE. Next one up is gonna be Bradley Beal over one and a half three-pointers made. This one just feels correct to me. I do have it at 1.7, so we are coming in over that mark. The Philadelphia 76ers, are 20th in above the break threes. It's not like you're getting a lot of corner threes out of Beal. You're getting Beal creating a lot of his own shots. We know that at least at one point in time in his life, he was a good shooter. He tends to fit this matchup pretty well. That helps me. He's been playing better. The minutes are higher as of late. And when I just look at this at the surface, I think, okay, well, Philly's a team that does allow a little bit more threes above the break. And Bradley Beal is going to have the ball in his hands a ton. Monty Morris is back, which sort of means that to me, you're just going to get more offensive touches for Beal. Morris is a lower usage guy. So let's just take the over three-pointers made for Bradley Beal. This is not the only three-point prop we're taking in this game. And finally, we are taking the under on three-pointers made for P.J. Tucker. Now, I know that this one doesn't seem too crazy. One, it's P.J. Tucker. Cheering against him making shots is going to be more fun than most guys. Two, minutes are down as of late. He's playing in that 20 to 24 minute range. He doesn't make more than 0.7 threes already on the year. That's what he's hitting. So let's assume he's playing like 22 minutes. He's going to get like two threes up today. We just need to assume that he is going to miss them. That is where I have him right now. I think this is a positive value prop. The reason I like it the most here, though, the Washington Wizards are sixth in corner threes allowed. That's the good way for the Wizards. They tend to limit the threes that P.J. Tucker tends to take. He's missed it in his last three games. I think that rate goes to four. Go ahead and grab the under on P.J. Tucker's threes. There we go, folks. Picks are in. Randall over, AD over, Beal over, and Tucker under. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and follow me on Twitter, at Josh Engelman. We're back again tomorrow for more No House Advantage content. Good luck today, and enjoy your Sunday.